lot of people have worked at those businesses too. I know that. And now they're off. But they're all right, that's right. It's but if you look at situation. it, most of it was caused by government meddling. More government meddling won't fix it. Hmm. If you have, uh, if you don't, I mean, the government, look, and this is George Bush's problem, and before him, because the Federal Reserve has been doing this, playing this game for a long time. If you look back at these problems that occurred, they occurred largely because the government got into the mortgage business and played with it anyway. Franny May and Freddie Mac were playing with it, and so though they weren't owned by the right? government, they were sort of guaranteed by <laughs> you have a You have a bad economic problem created by government meddling. The solution is more government meddling? It isn't. The solution is freedom, because we didn't have a collapse like that when we had a free market in these things. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mark, Mac served as a guaranteed guarantor for mortgages, and they were, it was generally known the government would back them. So they were able to do all kinds of irresponsible things. And, uh, and, and this industry built up. The guys in Wall Street figure the game, you know, and they're making all of these derivatives, which weren't a good idea. Well, it sounds like the... the, the but in Wall Street, what should have happened is any company that got in that derivative business and were long, you know, owned the derivatives, when the system went down, they should have broke. Mm -hmm. We should have bailed them out. Exactly. We bailed them out. We didn't bail them out. The government came in. Listen, this is not just, uh, you know, a lot of moral people. The Treasury Department's full of guys who used to work at those places. You know, the banking industry and the government are almost the same thing. It's been uh -huh. social, yeah, right? Good. So this I system said, that. well, gee, we don't want to lose out. So the government bails them out with our tax money. Yeah. That wasn't right. It shouldn't yeah. have been done. So we had a, that's why this book I mentioned. It was his last chapter. Was yeah. The guys who were short, there were a few of them. Well, they shorted the thing. They knew it was going down. But most of the guys were long, and they all got rich too mm -hmm. because they were connected with the government. Sure, they gave them the money, and to repay back, they won't give right. money to anybody. And else. now we go back it's to what I was there. describing. <laughs> the congressman sits here. He's not running for Congress. The congressman sits here. The supplicant, let's call him the supplicant from outside, sits here. Whether he's a banker, <coughs> a businessman, an industry, a union, whoever it is. They sit in front of him with, or with their lobbyists. They sit there and they say, I want a special favor. We're talking now about some special favors. The congressman has to have the intestinal fortitude to, to say, I don't see in the Constitution where I pay my public money to bankers and have gotten in trouble. I won't do it. And you have to elect people who will do that. But you have an office today in our district and in districts all over the country is people that 